to Honeybuckle Homestead. I wanted to share our plans this year for our gardens. We have a garden here behind the farmhouse and it's called the kitchen garden. And we also have a cattle panel where I grow green beans every season and a cattle panel that I grow the triple crown blackberries on every season. And a little further down, we have three posts that we grow on wires, our grapevines. Well, this past couple weeks ago, I took out my gardening journal with my garden planner grid and went ahead and drew out where I want to plant my vegetable seeds in my kitchen garden and then I did a rough draft on the garden up behind the barn and I made a few notes of what I want to do. I'm just in the beginning stages because Kevin and I after moving here from California we're still learning how to garden correctly for this area of the United States. I also found some uh, printables off the internet just to continue so that I can make notes and keep everything organized. And that seems to work out really well for me to keep it on paper. And then I'll just go ahead and keep all that in my gardening journal. Another thing that I put together is I found these little spice tins that I use for my seeds instead of taking out all the little seed envelopes to the garden. I transfer them into these little tins and they've got little holes that you can sprinkle the seed in or a larger opening if you have larger seeds. Now they have a window and then a magnet on the bottom and they really turn out handy because I just take the tray out to the garden with all of these tins in it and nothing blows away, nothing blows around and I can just keep them uh, just in place here on this metal tray. So that really has turned out to be um, something very handy for me. So I wanted to share that with all you guys. And I did join the homemakers at our local extension office and they had these planting guides available last fall. So I picked them up, they were free and they also had this reusable gardening calendar. So you can write on every week what you're going to do in a certain month and I picked up these dry markers. So here I'm just putting that I'm going to prep, prepare my grow lights and this has an eraser on the back so you can just remove that for next year. It makes it really simple to keep my gardening, my gardening items um, up to date so that worked out really well. And I also have this seed tray that I just keep my seed packets in as they come in the mail and then like I said I'll transfer them over to the tins but I collect seeds whenever there there's any given away for free like these I got at the extension office and then I've got my um, flower seeds that I want to plant this year so keep everything in that tray easy to go through and then these are beans that I harvested when I was doing my save, seed saving last year. Now when we came from California we decided we would do the back to Eden garden method so we purchased a bunch of compost and laid it right on the grass about six inches deep, put wood chips around the perimeter and went ahead and planted now, for this year, we, we needed to refresh the compost. So we went to the nearest town where they have a composting center and got leaf compost. So we went ahead and put that on our garden this past Monday to freshen it up. 
and that worked out really well. So this is Kevin, just the wind was really blowing. So here is the garden. I filmed this two days ago. So it's all freshened and ready for the spring rains. And I'll plant on, on this come March, I'll start putting my seeds in the ground. And just to walk around the back of the farmhouse, these are my composting bins. And you can see the cattle panel where I grow the green beans up every year. It's just enough for Kevin and I to eat off of all season and can enough for the winter. And this is the cattle panel where the triple crown blackberries grow up. And there you can see on the left the um, grapevines. And here's our neighbor. We wanted to do our garden behind the barn and he came up in September and tilled the garden for us. And what we did is after he tilled it, we laid down cardboard boxes on top and those cardboard boxes uh, have been there all winter and we're going to be removing those boxes and we'll plant we'll put compost there and plant and there you have it thanks for watching